Hey everyone, my name is CountBlock2000, and I'm doing quite fine, and welcome to another spotlight of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time through, we made it through the first part of the forest temp- or, not forest, fire temple, jeez, what am I saying? And this spotlight, we're hopefully going to be continuing through it. Um, we got a couple small keys last time at the very end of the spotlight, and in this one, we're going to be continuing a little bit further. Um, what you want to do here is pull out that your bow and shoot that eye so you do obviously um you don't this isn't required so if you haven't done you don't have to do the forest temple to do this temple first that's something i should point out that you actually don't need to but um you'll get the dungeon map in this room so yeah i mean if you know what you're doing, you don't need to go to the forest temple first. You can go here first if you want to for whatever reason. Um, don't fall because otherwise it's a long way down. Alright, now this room here. This room, what you want to do is this firewall will chase you right here. All you have to do is simply run. There's a locked door to the left, so we can't go that way. Be careful of the fire bubble right there. Um, just keep running, keep running. And there we go. Climb up here. Open this door. And you'll see that we're back in the room with all the boulders and stuff. Um, kill him. Use, um... What does Navy have to say? Ah, I'm trying to listen to you! Oh, never mind. She was basically saying just to use that to go... Let's see, does she have anything? There we go. Link, I hear Goron voices down. Well, you could have just... Drop. Drop. There we go. Fall down and drop. Yeah, not fall. Not drop. Drop, try, and roll. Whatever. Anyway, go over here. Talk to this Goron that we saw earlier here as a tip for rescuing me. Somewhere in this temple. You're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron's special crop. That's all I can tell you. Oh, uh, I know what, what he's referencing. Um, actually, he doesn't tell you really what you're supposed to do. Um, his way actually is much harder. You know? But anyway, what you're. Anyway, we want to head up here. Yeah, I got like. You know, I always have that problem. I don't know how many of you who LP or just like whenever you're talking, you always think us. Oh, I thought you. I don't know why I thought you could. But anyway, we'll climb up here. Yeah, I had to take a drink there. Oh my gosh. Throat. I hate that when your throat goes dry. I got some Kool-Aid in front of me. Oh no. Okay, quickly kill him. Kill him. There we go. He's dead. Alright. Um, something I also I was going to also mention for this spotlight. I've been saving it. You, For those of you who have this game... You might notice the music in this place isn't the same for you as it is for me. Like, you might have a more deeper um, sound. It might sound deeper sounding for you, and it doesn't have the chanting for you in your version of the game. That is because Nintendo, um, allegedly, there's a lot of different There's um, complaints over whether it's which one is the real story. But, um... Let me just talk to him first, quickly, and then I'll finish it. Tell you a secret for saving me. If you find a place that you can see the map but can't reach, try place it playing your ocarina. And uh, he was basically mentioning that earlier. In, uh, that we needed that a little bit earlier ago when we played the Song of Time. He was basically saying just use the Song of Time. But anyway, getting back to this song here in particular. This song, along with some other stuff in this game, was removed in later versions of this. This is, I've, for some of you that don't know, I went and bought um, the gold cartridge of this game, which is the original, like, version 1.1. 1 .1. Um, the reason, partly the reason I did was because of this song in this place. The Fire Temple for um, some people, when there were, I guess the best way to explain this is there was a... Um, Apparently, there was a group of Islams who did not, who heard the Arabic chants in it and did not like it. They felt that it was disrespectful. Now, there are reports that that never happened, and that Nintendo just decided by themselves to because they felt the game was being too religious, or, you know, it was trying to push some ideology, religion ideology, down, you know, kids and stuff. So that 
partly could be the reason why they removed it, but this was part of the reason why they removed this song in later versions. Um, version 1.0, the gold cartridge of this game for the N64, and version 1.1... Well, you can see down from here. Isn't that this room where we saw Darunia? Um, some versions of this game have the ability where you can... Um, um, these, these are one of these fake doors. Up. Just use a bomb to get rid of it, but I'm not going to because there's nothing there. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of... There were some complaints, so Nintendo decided to um, change the song and made it much more dark. And to be honest, what Koji Kondo did was he simply just made it much more darker. And you can actually see, it's basically almost the chant, but it's much more... You can't really hear what they're really saying. Um, Nintendo usually does a good job of avoiding anything, you know, like that. But there's reports that it wasn't even, um, some weren't offended by it and others were, but there's no, there was apparently no group that surfaced that, you know, claimed it, but Nintendo decided anyway to remove this song and change some other stuff in the game as well. And as we go along in the game, I'll show you what I mean. Um... Anyway, they give you bombs here, because the reason why this is another one of those fake doors, if you try to open it, it will try to attack you. If you hit it with your sword, it will also try to attack you. What you want to do is place a bomb next to it, as the Goron told us to, and watch it go completely. You do so, you'll enter this room with one of my favorite enemies in this game. This is known as a Flare Dancer. I believe I still remember. Yep. Um, uh, yep. Yep. Um, what you're supposed to do, the Goron said to use bombs. That's not really what you what you really want to do is use your sword, jump attack it, and it will jump back in immediately. And it will turn blue. Bluish, when it was yellowish. That's because we damaged it. Um, whenever it runs to simply Z tar keep it Z-targeted, do that, and it will jump back in. <laughs> and I believe now it should be green. It will also spew out fire after a while, like little fire things when you pull it out of it, which I will also run around the room. So, just keep that in mind. Actually, yeah, that... Oh! There we go. Oh, he's dead. There we go. And what we want to do is we want to climb up this, because this is like an elevator, and we will go further up. But yeah, Nintendo apparently received some complaints, and they removed some stuff. The, this song isn't the only thing they removed in later versions. As I said, I'll show you guys the stuff they did later on. So, But yeah, apparently... Um, in case you're wondering also what the chant is saying, is that apparently it is saying something along the lines of Allah is great, and for those of you that don't know what Allah, who Allah is, Allah is the um, Islamic god, basically the, the equivalent to the Christianity god. I guess is the best way to put it. I mean, there are... I mean, I've taken religion classes, and, you know, you just learn this stuff, so... And that's the one huge thing, is people always, you know... If people would just respect other people's views and stuff, and see what they're saying, maybe we wouldn't have some of the problems we do in this world. But enough about that. That's not my job to right now to be explained about that. My job is to explain about how we need to get up to this chest up here. Um, this chest... What you need to do is walk around here. Be careful of the keys. Open this chest before things go out, and you'll see how there's these flames. Well, remember how Darunia said we needed to find that Mega Hammer? We just did. This is the Megaton Hammer. Press E to smash and break junk. It's so heavy, you need to use two hands to swing it. This Megaton Hammer is very powerful, and we will be using it. Using it. Um... Anyway, what we're going to do is that's pretty much going to do it for this spotlight. Now, I think this one was rather short, but next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we are going to be finishing the Fire Temple. So I will see you guys next spotlight. Goodbye. I didn't want to. I mean, it's, I don't think I should have, I don't want to push my views, you know, on others.
everyone should be free to make their choice. And it's like if people would just respect others and Hey everyone, my name is Count Black 2009. I'm doing quite fine. Welcome to another spotlight of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Three heart run. Yeah, I know I don't usually say that. But anyway, last time through we went through a little bit more of the Fire Temple, and in this spotlight, we're gonna be finishing it. Um last time we managed to get the Megaton Hammer, we found it. And we're gonna use it here. And this thing is very useful. In this temple there are a bunch of these little statue like things. And if you use the Megaton Hammer on them, they'll disappear. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, wow, I didn't get rid of... Oh, I got rid of one of those boxes. Good, I needed to keep one. Use that. And we will create some stairs. Um, let's go down. Jump. Oh no. Jump on the switch, and as you probably guessed, you need to use this box to open the switch. And use this to go down. And before you use this to activate, because obviously this is that pillar that will take us to Durania, before you activate that, instead, go over here, hit this switch. It's rusted. Navy actually will mention. Yeah, this switch looks rusted. Basically, what you really need to do is use the Megaton Hammer instead of just drop stepping on it, because otherwise it won't work. Play the Song of Time here, and you will find... This. Alright, let's see. Go up, go up. And hit the switch, which unlocks that door. Now, guys, here I'll tell you a secret for saving. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple, but the Goran special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Yeah, as you remember, as I showed you guys a couple spotlights ago, there was. And there was a door, but we couldn't go anywhere with it. There also was to the right, it looked like something that we've seen earlier. We just saw a couple of minutes, less than a couple of minutes ago. Oh, like, like oh, oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped going the way I want to go. Anyway, fall down with this. And like, we'll do his epic scream. And he somehow won't be hurt. What you want to do is you want to head back to the main room, which is right here. Or the original room. And don't even worry about these guys. I mean, I guess, like, you're not that much of a pain. Get out your Megaton Hammer, and you'll see, what do you know, a locked door. Make sure you grab that key, because otherwise you have to go all the way back up the temple to get it. This room is filled with a bunch of enemies. What you want to do is simply just kill all of them as fast as you can. Come on! Jeez, you, you not die. Jeez. And there's this final. There we go. And we can now go to the next room. Which is good. Uh, this room just has another great Skatula and the like like. We're not gonna bother with them. And this room, yes, there's another flare dancer. Love these guys. I think the vo the guy who does the voice again in Dorf in this game, obviously, um, I think he does the voice. That is why he just sounds a little bit higher pitched. Like, listen. Like, I think he obviously, I think it's the same guy. I'm not sure. I'm gonna check that. I like to know who made that voice because I love the laugh. <laughs> That's the thing, like, I'm usually really good with, like, imitating voices. Like, you know, I, I mentioned, like, that earlier. This LP, uh, I can do, like, Mario's voice. I can do, um... Well, I, you know, if you guys didn't recognize the voice of the hag guy from the Poe shop, 
I tried to sound like the merchant from Resident Evil 4, you know, so. I mean, eh. Oh, what's in here? Did we get anything good in here? Um. Let's. Is this the right door? Yep. This switch is rusted as well, but I'll just hit it like that. Open this first before we talk to him because. And we will obviously get the. Boss key. Talk to him and he'll be like. Are you listening? I should go. Oh. Up, up, please help, Big Bug. You know what? Yeah. Apparently, I think, you know, he... I didn't know you could skip his text. The other ones you couldn't, but that one apparently you can. Uh, I think when you, um, defeat... Or when you... Not defeat. You get him. You free that one. He says, like, how you freed all of them. You know, go help, Big Brother. But I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, I'll edit that in if you see it. But anyway, we're about to go take on the boss of this place. The boss of this place is very big. His arena is rather big. What you're going to want to have out is the Megaton Hammer, and that's really it besides your sword. And as you can see, Link's obviously knowing he's trapped. Um, the dragon, Volvagia here, is about to come out. Apparently in a comic, he was like Link's pet, for whatever reason. In one of the comics, so. In a, like, Nintendo comics. So, it's like Link's like, Hi, Volgi! Okay, obviously he's not in a very, uh, particularly fine mood right now. But. And Link sadly had to kill him. In the comics. And so that's kind of what we're doing here. So Link might or might not be killing his pet dragon. The Volvagia here actually has a couple of um, attacks. First things first, he will come out of the ground like whack-a-mole. Make sure you stay away from when he first comes in, otherwise he will do too hard damage. Now right here, what you want to do is you want to hang from the side, which most people don't even realize, but you can hide, hang from the side of this thing, and he won't see you. Otherwise he'll spend time blowing fire at you. Um, also be careful, because when you go near him, he doesn't just sit there and do nothing. Like, when he pops out like that, he won't just do nothing. He will swipe at you, and he'll take hard damage. So, after you've hit him a couple times, though, he's going to change his attack just a little. What he'll do is he's going to come, go up into the air, and he's going to start dropping boulders on you. They actually are pretty easy to avoid. Usually they stay in the same area. Like, see, there he is. Also, you can use and go down, so if you do fall off this platform, you can um, climb back up, because otherwise you'll just die. And you, you can't jump over there, because there's no way to get back to this platform. Um, after you've hit him a couple times, he will start to change his position. Be careful of that, because that does do two hearts of damage. He's a hair fire. There we go. And I believe only one more. If we do one more jump attack, he, might be, he should be dead. Get down. He shouldn't see us. Because if he sees you, and you're on the platform, he will breathe fire at you and stuff, and it takes forever to go back down. It takes him a long time, but if you do that, you shouldn't have any problems. And now, final one. Let's see, one, two, three. Hit him with that. Careful. There we go, he's dead. Link, you just killed your pet dragon. Well... See, I'm not really sure. Like, apparently Link, he was. And Link had to kill him because, you know, he was evil now. And here, I guess Link really didn't kill him. I guess he just killed himself with his fire hair. But... Oh, and just for you guys who are wondering what um, Navy says, his head here stays there for a minute. But if you talk to it quick, if you quickly hit her, she'll be like, it's the boss of the fire temple. Revived by the king. I don't know it's weak. Well, that's nice to know. Um, and it will turn into the heart container. But, obviously I can't grab that. And so we are now done with two out of the five temples. And if you haven't guessed who the sage is... Well, oh yeah, first they show this cool little cutscene. How it's erupting. And this guy in the house, he's like, Oh! What the? I'm not going to admit that looks really cool. And it will go back 
to being nice and peaceful. But yeah, as I said, if you don't know who this is, the sage of this place is, I really am not going to help you that much. Oh, I like that smile. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the Wild Deronia, turned out to be the Great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping to seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my French. Aww. I always like when they say stuff like that. And there we go. Two... Or actually, we have six, because Raru got, gave us one. So we have three out of the six medallions, which we need. Deronia awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Aww. I like Deronia. I thought he was... I like the Gorons overall. I, I've always liked them. Um, after you defeat Volvagia appear right here and when you go back if you're wondering how do you get out of here without warping with the songs you just simply have to use your hook shot right there um, when you have the megaton hammer if you come over here um, maybe we'll just go uh, use it you can use it to break these giant rocks in here is a fairy's fountain but I'm not allowed to get the power she gives you Let's just say it will help you. But in this game, it doesn't really help you as much as it does in Majora's Mask. The, it's basically an upgrade, but, you know, well, spoilers, it is an upgrade. But it's not really as helpful in this game as is Majora's Mask, just because there's not as much you have to do. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we are going to leave Goron City. And actually, oh uh, yeah, we can use the shortcut here. It'll take us to the Lost Woods. And if we go this way, I believe this will take us right out. Yep, right to Kokori. And that's gonna do it for this spotlight, guys. That's pretty much it for this spotlight. And so next time on. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Three Heart Run, I guess is what I will call it, because it's so original. We are going to be heading, hopefully, out to the next temple, so I will see you guys next spotlight. Goodbye.